You don't set out to make the biggest, baddest, largest wall. You set out to lay one brick, as perfectly as you can lay that brick, every day. And soon you have a wall. Before the first game of the season, head coach Al Golden used the metaphor of laying bricks to encourage his young team to focus on doing the small things right, one at a time. The Hurricanes took these words, along with the foundation Coach Golden had in place, and approached their season opener against Boston College, eager to deserve victory. Welcome to University of Miami football. It is year two of the Al Golden era. It is a 2012 season about ready to get underway. Trust and execute the foundation. Guys, that means play with incredible passion, incredible energy. Now stand up like a Miami hurricane and sound that alarm. Here's a toss, right side, big hole. Andre Williams will dance into the end zone. At the 10, at the 5, touch right, dives into the end zone, touchdown. And right now, it is all Boston College. We really tested who we became over the last nine months within the first 16 plays of that game, being down 14 0. Everybody just decided to trust the foundation, go out there and lay better bricks. Looking right, looking right, throws on a straight oh. intercepted. Denzel Perriman's got it. Oh. Luke Johnson in the game to the right side. Looks the inside handoff. Luke trying to run right. Rich one tackle. He's got the 40, 35, 30. Luke Johnson right side. Lewis cuts off the 10 at the 5 and dives into the end zone. 15, 10. Luke Johnson will go all the way. Touchdown, Miami. I think the team just came back one play at a time, and because they just focused one play at a time, good things happened. Miami 41, Boston College 32. That's the essence of what we're trying to teach them. And so the Hurricanes began the 2012 season with a win and a lesson in the value of focusing one brick at a time, one play at a time. Next, the Hurricanes travel to the Midwest to face Big 12 opponent Kansas State. Going into the game, you know, we were confident and ready to go. And then didn't go how we planned it. Turns the corner, lunges into the end zone for a Kansas State touchdown. The Wildcats led quickly, and Miami struggled to overcome this week's deficit. Throws incomplete. Kendall Tompkins could not get away against a team that would finish at number five in the country. Although you may not achieve what you wanted to achieve, it's all of our responsibility, you know, the collective team, to reinvest, you know, to get back up off, off the ground, dust yourself off, and trust each other, and trust the coaches, and move forward. Following the loss, Coach Golden urged his players to reinvest and stay unified despite the disappointment. We are going back to work tomorrow. All right, and we are getting ready to be the type of team that we want to be. You can't just be proud of your unity. You can't be proud of your togetherness. You can't be proud of all that when everything's going well. You got to go to the well right now and dig on it. Use it. After two weeks on the road, the Hurricanes returned to Miami to compete against Bethune Cookman in their home opener. Johnson at the 10, middle field 20. The Hurricane special teams provided Miami's first score with an explosive kick return by freshman Duke Johnson. Nobody's going to get him. Touchdown, Hurricanes. I couldn't have did that kick return without all 11 guys. As Johnson credited his teammates for executing their roles in his return, it became apparent that the players were unselfishly giving their all for each other. 
If I know I can get a good block for somebody else to score, it feels like I score too. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Duke Johnson, 50 yards. Coming to the sideline, everybody was congratulating Duke and me because I made a good block for him and he had a good run. I'm glad the team is starting to recognize the contribution of all the players on the field for a given touchdown or, or for the execution of, of a big play because that's what it takes. Miami 38, Bethune Cookman 10, and that is your final score. We got some explosive plays on the special teams, all right, for the first time in a long time. Again, it takes 11 hats to score a touchdown like that, okay? It takes 11 hats. The win against Bethune Cookman showed the Hurricanes were achieving success by working together, a continuation of the focus and unity upon which Coach Golden had urged them to build. It is an absolutely glorious day. Bobby Dodd Stadium nestled into downtown Atlanta. Here come the Hurricanes. We always like to try to get on the board first. It was a big point of emphasis this whole week is that we needed to take the lead and we needed to play from the lead. He is throwing the ball deep and has a man wide open at the five, into the end zone. Touchdown, University of Miami. Miami did start fast, exploding to a 19-0 lead. Touchdown, Hurricanes. We thought that if we went up those amount of scores, we'd be able to you know, continue on and really dominate the game. We weren't getting too high, but then George Tech scored. Scored again. The second and third quarter belong to the Yellow Jackets as they buried Miami's lead in stunning fashion, 36 to 19. We were up 19, right? And then, boom, next thing you know, we're down 17. I mean, just an emotional roller coaster ride. I think what emerged was we are not going to lose our poise. We are going to execute one play at a time and live with the results. Touchdown, Mike James! Showing guts and desire to get into the end zone, and Miami is back in the game. The Hurricanes orchestrated a comeback for the ages, methodically chipping away at the deficit, forcing overtime in Atlanta. The Hurricanes are one point away from coming all the way back. The defense took the field first, refusing to allow Georgia Tech past the pylons. Right, right side, I don't know if he got it. No. No. Miami football, the Hurricanes have the ball and a chance to win the game. After a goal line stand by the defense, senior Mike James took the handoff and rushed to claim the victory for Miami. Mike James, Miami wins, Miami wins. The Hurricanes have won it. What a comeback for the Hurricanes. One of the greatest in the history of the University of Miami. And so the Canes reveled in a landmark win, thanking the fans, coaches, and each other for the trust and confidence they showed in a Miami program that was slowly writing itself. Following the exuberance of the overtime win in Atlanta, Miami returned to Sun Life Stadium to try and prove it was a team that could handle success. Stephen Morris ducks in under center, Miami trailing 7-0. Pedals back to throw, looking for the end zone, and Allen Hurts, he's got it for a touchdown! The Hurricanes quickly lit up the scoreboard as Stephen Morris connected with three different receivers in an offensive showcase. He's going to go all the way. It's a touchdown for Miami. The Canes maintain the lead thanks to a number of big plays, both celebrated and subtle. 11 yards for Duke Johnson. And old Maurice Higgins, the guy that does all the dirty work at fullback, made that thing happen. We have a lot of guys that are doing their job, and Mo Higgins comes to mind. Leading by example is tremendous, and I know it's got far-reaching impact on our team. Throughout the game, the offense was clicking. 
but North Carolina State has a great offense themselves, and they're a resilient team. Been down this avenue before. Throughout my whole entire head, I said, I ain't want this game to go to overtime. A huge play here. The tension heightened on a third down, where Stephen Morris began to scramble. He's in trouble. Got a receiver coming back. He doesn't see him. He said, throws it deep down the field. Four set. He shot it at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown! Morris's 62-yard strike to Dorsett capped another exciting finish for the Canes. With 19 seconds to go, a moment of magic. Morris set a school and ACC record with 500 and 66 passing yards in the win. You know, what means the most right now is that the team is coming together and winning. Records are nice, but the reality is we wouldn't trade any of those records for a win and being 3-0 in the conference right now. And Miami wins it. 44 to 37. The next stop for the Kings was Chicago's Soldier Field and the chance to renew a storied rivalry game against Notre Dame. You can taste the electricity in the air. Miami Notre Dame, the 25th anniversary, and away we go. The electricity and excitement proved to be too much of a distraction for Miami's young team, which struggled with missed opportunities and unexpected setbacks. Morris into the end zone for a touchdown, but a flag is down back at the 15. All I know is from building Miami when I was part of it, and we went from being an also ran to a contender to a champion. And when you do something like that, you have to go through the bad times and forge a bond with each other and keep going. So when you get that next opportunity, you can get there. The Fighting Irish would continue onward to compete for the national championship. But Golden knew his team's goals were different, if only for that year. It's not a national championship year. It's a year that we build a team and start to grow a team that can one day evolve into that. The loss at Notre Dame, as hard as it is, will give them an opportunity to grow. And so the Hurricanes resolve to reinvest again, returning home to host the Tar Heels of North Carolina. Hey, dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. The ACC matchup proved to be a defensive battle with both teams exchanging blows. We gotta slug it out, man. We got a one point game. An injury late in the game, the quarterback Stephen Morris gave Ryan Williams the opportunity to lead the Hurricanes. And he's down to the 28 of North Carolina. But despite moving the ball downfield, the Canes fell short on a fourth down conversion. Throws caught short of the first down. Run. And Miami's hopes have been extinguished. Carolina 18, Miami 14, and that's your final score. We got better in so many ways today, guys. We got better, right? We just weren't, we weren't good enough. Doesn't mean we're not getting better, okay? Doesn't mean we're not building it's something special. As Coach Golden reminded the team, they were still building to something special. Everybody's growing up and maturing, you know, week by week. Like, you could actually, like, see it. The Hurricanes stayed committed to each other, knowing that as a team, they were improving. <laughs> the Hurricanes came out of the smoke with determination. Stunning Florida State with their intensity.
touchdown Miami. After the turnover, Mike James dashes in from nine yards out, and Miami has struck first. Although Florida State battled back, the Canes never relented in their competitiveness, continuing to fight until the very end. I don't care what the score is. I don't care what the situation is. You know, we're going to play our ball. We're going to play our game. Here's Morris to throw on the yes. run down the field caught. You know, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is toughness and finish, and that doesn't mean sometimes. I mean, that's an all-the-time thing. His biggest play of the night comes with 127 to go in the game. We just wanted to teach the kids to keep fighting, and uh, the offense, led by Steven, went out there and, and finished. Caught for a touchdown. Nice grab by Rashawn Scott. I do want you to remember, I do want you to remember how physical we played, how hard we played, how competitive we were. They're a little bit ahead of us right now, and I wouldn't trade locker rooms for anything. I wouldn't trade locker rooms for anything. Following a much-needed bye week, Miami was eager for its opportunity against Virginia Tech a game critical in the ACC Coastal Race. Great opportunity today, let's go. Let's go. No score, 8.57 to go, first quarter. Good snap, Hughes has it. It's oh. blocked, it's blocked, he takes the ball. Hurricanes have the ball. Miami blocks their first punt of the year. Moore's the throw, sideline, now it hurts, he's got it, touchdown, in the right corner. Great, great job, great job. Scoring quickly, the Hurricanes continue to take advantage of their stellar special teams play. Oh, here we go, Duke Johnson's got the 40, he's got midfield. Moore's throws, underneath, caught at the 10, at the 5, Mike James into the end zone for a touchdown. Get out. Miami's defense also proved dominant executing their coaches' game plans in convincing fashion. Luther Robinson recovered the fumble for the University of Miami. I knew he could do it! The defense sealed the win with an interception by Jimmy Gaines. An interception! And as the final gun sounded, oh the celebration ensued. A big salute to the defense as they've held Virginia Tech to 12 points. Miami's win over Virginia Tech was a statement for their program and for the Coastal Division, raising the stakes as the team headed to Charlottesville, Virginia. It's time for Hurricanes football. The University of Miami continues their chase for the Coastal. Set the zone! Virginia came out, got on track, early and kept us off balance. Caught into the end zone. When they scored, we just answered back. To the end zone, far corner, gotcha. caught, touchdown! This game was, was a shootout. Yeah. We was ready for a shootout and we just gave it all we had. 15, 10, 5, it's going to be a Miami touchdown! Yeah. It was very workmanlike. End zone, caught, touchdown! Yeah. We kind of stayed together and that's important in those environments to do that. The Hurricanes seemed to hold the momentum through the fourth quarter until the Cavaliers made one final charge. Miami 38, Virginia 35, 11 seconds to go. Who will survive the day? Looking, throwing, end zone! It is caught, touchdown! The one-point loss stunned a Miami team, which had left everything on the field. As the resilient team fought for perspective, they realized their goals were still within reach. After that tough loss, I felt like it was still something to play for. Um, we're still fighting for the Coastal. Having these two games left, we just have to prepare well and finish the season off. against cross-state rival South Florida was the last time for Miami's senior class to run through the smoke. And the team honored them with their play. Oh, 39-yard field goal, snap is down, kick on the way, has something behind it, and it is good. 
Miami posted one of its most complete games of the year. Play fake, looking for the end zone, firing, right corner, caught for a touchdown! It's the senior, Kendall Tompkins. As the offense, defense. There's a quick fire, a slant incomplete. And special teams work together to deserve victory over the Bulls. Anytime you get to your senior year in college, you've been through a lot. But most particularly this group, we really wanted to make sure that we could send them out as winners in their last home game. Hurricanes win it, Miami 40, and USF 9. Great win, boy, last home game we won, baby. That's a blessing, man. Last time, seniors, here we go. It's great. To be the Miami Hurricanes, baby. To be the Miami Hurricanes, baby. The seniors led the Hurricanes into their last game of the season. One final battle against ACC opponent Duke University. Stephen Morris on a bootleg. Throws to Clyde Walford. He's got it at the five. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah. Miami's offense asserted itself. Mike James breaks a tackle. He might go all the way. Excelling in both the run and the pass while never relinquishing the lead. He's got mid the foot race. Here goes Herb Waters. And midfield, it's going to be a track meet. Duke Johnson to the 25-20, middle of the field, to the 10, to the 5. Duke Johnson will score! 65 yards. Duke continually challenged Miami, but the defense protected the lead. They've got him, and down he goes. Hurricanes come up with a sack. As the Kings celebrated their final win together in a season of resiliency. Hey, hey, hey. 2012 season has come to an end. Miami 52, Duke 45. Hey, good job out there. Thanks for coming. The 2012 team will be remembered for bravely pursuing and reaching goals never before achieved by a Hurricane squad. You are ACC Coastal Co champions. Yeah. 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 Trusting the foundation laid by Coach Golden. I'm happy to be Coach Yo, I want to show appreciation to you for leading this team and going through all the adversity Thank that you. you go through and being the same guy every single day. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And continuing to build the University of Miami football team back to prominence. Coach Jeff, Coach Jeff, on three. One, two, three. Coach Jeff.